Hi guys, welcome back to another BBJ Vlogs video. It's another match day vlog for the Albion. It's West Brom versus Burnley. Um, I'm really not looking forward to this one, guys. Um, obviously, as you may know, it was the transfer deadline day yesterday. Um, we were after two midfielders, Fulham's Josh Onoma and Brighton's Stephen Alzate. Both midfielders and both would have been class. Um, we did not manage to sign them in the end because of paperwork. I mean, we can still get them, but it's still not very good. And West Brom acting like everything's fine. And right now, everyone is absolutely furious. I mean, it's going to be a toxic atmosphere tonight at the Albion. Um, obviously, the Wigan performance, I mean, that was probably the worst performance I've seen so far this season from the Albion. But, um, yeah, I'm really, really not confident today. I mean, I'm still going to get behind the boys and um, hope they can uh, manage to pick up the three points. But Burnley, they've got a very good side. Vincent Company's uh, done a transformation to their team. And, um, yeah, I think score prediction, I'm going to say 2-0 Burnley. I think... Um, in fact, I don't really know who's in the team. I think Jay Rodriguez might score, which will be a bit unfortunate. And um, I think that Manuel Benson might score for him. And... Yeah, I mean, I hope the Albion can prove me wrong, but yeah, I just don't have a good feeling go out uh, this match tonight. But let's see what happens. Let's go to the Hawthorns. Come on, Albion! Well, right, guys, in the stadium, team news has been announced. Um, he's finally starting to uh, guard the Hitman. Um, Furlong is actually surprisingly not in the team. But Ashworth is uh, coming to replace him, obviously, for cover for the defence. Um, Thomas Asante is in the team, which is good. So uh, he'll probably come on in the 60th or 70th minute for uh, Wally for guarding, not guarding, sorry, uh, Dian Garner. Um, Martin Kelly's uh, not been seen, so he'll probably come against uh, Coventry, I think. And, um, yeah, Semi AJ is still not in the team. Bartley is still in his uh, place. Uh, AJ has obviously pulled the hamstring against Wigan, which is bad news for the Albion. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just happy that he's playing Golden Hitman. And uh, I'm just going to look forward to see what Thomas Asante can do when he comes on. But, yeah, I mean, I haven't seen Burnley's uh, team, but. It's going to be tough, it's going to be really tough. I mean, I hope we could win, but um, I still think we're going to lose tonight. I mean, I'm going to probably say, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's going to be 2-0 Burnley. And, um, yeah, just hope the Albion can prove me wrong and hopefully not do the performance that we did against Wigan. Come on, Albion. Atmosphere in the uh, in the Albion. Players take the knee. Come on, Albion! Albion with the first corner of the match. It's a good atmosphere in here. I mean, I bet the Smith again sing one shot about Gukan Loy. And uh, yeah, the Smith puts it in. It's a greasy yeah. one. Oh, shame! Oh. Yeah, it goes, uh, boy. He should start, I mean, Wallace did have a shot over the bar, but yeah, he should start from the Albion. It's good. Come on, Albion. Another corner for the Albion. It's been a lot better going forward, a lot better from last when we played against Wigan. Joe Wallace now taking the shot. I mean, I've had the second chat now from uh, Gukan Lai. Yeah, it's all going off at the Smith came about in. But now Albion with the corner. Wallace takes it in. Oh, Shane nearly getting a touch, but and so did Bartley, but. Yeah, looks like Connor Roberts is gonna yeah clear that away for Burnley and he's gonna do it away. So, yeah. Still nil nil. It's better though from the Albion. Come on. Burnley have a free kick, it's on the left of the box. Uh, he looks pretty dangerous. I mean Teller they really uh, crafted that well. Teller played some good football. I think he was on the neck and Teller with somebody and it's gone over! Ooh. Goes over the bar. And that was unlucky for Burnley, but yeah. It was a very, uh, it was quite close, but yeah, still remains 0 0. Albion with another corner, Taylor Gordon Ripman with a brilliant cross, turns in with the uh, shot, Morich uh, saves it. It's another corner to the Albion, Swift, I believe, is yeah, Swift, I believe, is taking it. It's put in, Bartley with the header, oh, it hit the ball! Just clipped on top of the ball, and that was unlucky for Carl Bartley. 
managed to win the headers, which is good. And there's some good balls in as well. It's a lot better. I mean, Burnley have had a bit of possession, but I'll tell you now, it's much better from the Albion. Come on. Penalty to Burnley. And I think it might have been Carl Bartley who got the uh, challenge on Nathan Teller. Um, actually, no, actually, no, 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 sorry. He's lucky not to um, yeah, I mean, that was a brilliant kick from R.O. Murich. Nathan Teller with a good touch. Tried going round Button, but Button managed to get some contact. And uh, been now well Burnley have a massive know. chance to make it 1-0. I mean, that's annoying because we've been playing bloody well. It's been better than the last time we played against Wigan. But, uh, yeah. And, oh, no, I think it's I think it's Rodriguez taking it. That's man. So now Jay Rodriguez is going to take a penalty against his former club, against the Albion. I mean, it's a penalty all day, but it's going to be. I mean, it's going to be painful if he scores this. It's going to be really painful. Right. We've just got to wait till the referee blows his whistle. Oh dear! Come on, come on, Rodriguez! Please don't do this to the Albion. You know you love them. Please. Come on, Button. Come on, Button. Here we go. Rodriguez to take and Rodriguez to score. Burnley fans go absolutely bonkers. Rodriguez. I don't, yeah, fair play to Rodriguez. I don't think he celebrated. He did apologise, I think. But Burnley fans have gone absolutely rampant. one nil Burnley, I mean, they've been playing some good football. I mean, it's a shame because, I mean, we've had, uh, we've had some good chances. I mean, we've had some good build-up play. But, yeah, Hodgson obviously had to make contact because I had to try to save, had to try to save uh, Burnley from scoring. So, yeah, one nil Burnley, Jay Rodriguez penalty. Come on, Albion, let's try to shake it off. Again, Albion with another corner. The ball is sent over to Wallace. Got past uh, Ian Matson. Now I'll be have another chance to hopefully get a goal from the corner. Come on, you baggies! Come on, we need a goal here. Don't let these take over. Went over everyone, but Malumbi with the ball shoots and it goes way, way wide. Burnley fans are loving it over in the Swift end and. Uh, yeah, I mean, slightly silent as the Albion, but yeah, we're still not giving up. Come on, Albion. Albion with a free kick. Yeah, it's not going to be one from like, where John Swift, well, obviously takes the um, shot. It's probably going to be crossed in. Here we go. It's crossed in. Oh, we need... Oh, I think bloody hell. I think your cushion nearly got a... Oh, that would have been good if you got a foot on that. It was going the right direction, but yeah, it goes wide, it's unlucky. But again, still making chances, but yeah, still no goals. Come on, Albert. Got about three minutes until we get to added time. I mean, I literally just forgot to record a bloody free kick. Um, Swift with the bloody ball in. Um, I think it was headed on by Grant, and then O'Shea literally headed it right at Murich. I mean, he's got to be doing better. I mean, that could have been 1 1, but um, yeah, O'Shea's got to be doing better. And, yeah, it's just unlucky, but come on, Albion. We just hit the freaking post! Jeff Wallace! I mean, he was assisted by Dean Garland and was through, and that was so jammy, hit the freaking post! I mean, Townsend still has it in play, Dean Garner. Swift. Jocker Schlude, Swift. Bartley! Oh, Bartley, you freaking plum! Nathan Teller's away for Burnley. It's a good run! Oh, it's a good save by Button. I mean, it should have come out, but... I mean, no, that's a number corner. Wow. I mean, I think the Albion must have kept it in. And that's gone right to Josh Cullen. And, yeah, we are starting at the back again. But bloody hell, that's so jammy. But come on, Albion, keep it up. Right, about two minutes any time, and it's a number corner to the Albion. Grant got it off uh, Morwich. Now it's another corner. Yeah, yeah. No. Jeff 
Steve Wallace with the corner. Bloody hell. I think it was it's a on it, but Burnley clear it away. Still in possession for the Albion. Put it in, it's two minutes. Go on the hit, Moon. Back to Wallace. Come on, Wallace, put it. Came off here, Matson. Now Burnley have a chance to break. I mean, it's slow build up from Teller. I mean, he's going down the line. It's dangerous here. Comes off. The Albion players, I'm not sure who. Well done. And yeah, well done. Back, Albion win that position again. Grant. Yes, go on! Go on and again and again! Oh, bloody hell! I mean, Grant did pretty well then, but he's set off. Freaking hell, get it all! It's very cool and Grant did really well there. And look. Somebody was kicking off. I, think, I don't know who's gone down for Burnley, but the injured player for Burnley was kicking off. I don't know if it was with Malumbi. Yeah, it might have been with Malumbi. But, um. Yeah, I think he was kicking off. I don't know what about, but it's very stupid. You can definitely tell you about the state how stupid it was. But yeah, that was really well played from Colin Grant. He managed to get some good touches. I mean, if he could probably play to Dian Garner, that would have probably done it. And we could have probably gone back into the game. But uh, yeah, it was good defending from Burnley. And uh, yeah, this should be uh, half time any minute now. So it's half time here at the Albion, it's uh, West Brom nil, uh, Burnley 1. Um, apart from that, Burnley really haven't had much of a Apart from that, I don't think from Rodriguez. I mean, they've had some good uh, play going forward, but nothing else. I mean, apart from that, uh, well, one of their shots going wide, it was a good hit, but um, yeah. Uh, Albion have been, it's been, we've got some decent chances from uh, corners, we've got some decent chances from free kicks. I just hope we can get something out in the second half. But right now, it's a lot better than what Bruce has been doing, the players, and uh, training. So, I just hope in the second half we can get an answer, get a goal back, and hope to win the game. Come on out. Right, second half, they just about to begin. The Albion players have come back out. Right, so all we need to do now is just get the goal. Then hopefully that bring more of a motivation. Obviously it's been good in the first half, but right now we just need to find the goal. Let's get us motivated, get us going. Hope to push to the win. Let's yeah. yeah, go away to burn the place now. All we're gonna do now, get that goal, and then push for the win. Come on, Albin. Albin with a free kick. Uh... There's a challenge on uh, Dian Garner. I mean, the ref could have played it on, but uh, yeah, it's so stopped the play now. They haven't had to Come on. Here we go. Scott Steen. Oh. We'll be there. Gone the Ritman. It's played in, and that's going to be comfortable for Aaron Murch. He's an unlucky, uh, yeah, fair play to Armour, just came out of the box. Cross from Gordon Ribbon, and it's of, uh, oh, it's in, I think, another, uh, yeah, another Burnley player's down again. Don't know who, but, uh, yeah. Murich catches it, still 1 0 Burnley. 60 minutes gone, it's still Albion 0, Burnley 1. Um, I'd say that's gone. Taking a hit, taking a while, taking a little throw. But, um, it's still. Yeah, obviously it's one of them. Um, it's been a bit quieter now from the Albion. We've lost that intensity, which is not good. Um, yeah, it's not been yeah the best of you know, the start to the second half. Burnley, it's been pretty much Burnley, and I mean they've got a chance here. Goes to Ian Matson, Brown Hill, and that goes right into the crowd. Actually, no, it's Josh Cummins. Sorry, but. Um, yeah, Alvin have lost that intensity. We need to bring that intensity back. And yeah, come on, Alvin. I'll bring on Thomas Asante for Wallace. And uh, maybe it gives the horror a chance. I don't know. It's probably worth it. Yeah, we'll see what happens in the game. Come on, Alvin.
have another free kick. Yeah. And Brandon Thomas Asante is coming on for the Albany. He's going to make his debut. Oh, Thomas Asante. It yeah, looks like that's going to be his new chance. But I don't know if we, are we going to take the free kick first or yeah, the free kick first. Come on, Albion, get something out of it. And goes out for a corner though. Goes out for a corner. I mean, we're coming up to 20 minutes again. It's really been quiet. And I just heard that uh, Brandon Thomas Asante can lull things up in the attack for the Albion. But I just hope we can get a goal before he comes on. Come on. That's a good ball. Yo! Again, it went wide, it went wide again. And, uh, yeah. Come on! Yeah, it looks like Thomas Asante is coming on. Because uh, Aaron Murray's gone down, I'm coming. Bailey Peacock Farrell, but it's put in. Oh my god, it went freaking wide again. Yeah, it's not been all night. It's just been every shot, it's just gone wide. Apart from the Wallace uh, shot that hit the post, it's just not been all night. It's, uh, yeah, we've both got seven minutes to go. Just some looking from the arm, and I don't think it's not been our minds. Jesus, just the, I, it's a good ball to friggin' Wallace. He was all alone in the box, and you bloody bluffed it. I mean, he's going to go up for an, an Albion corner, though. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's either we're going to get a goal back, or they're, or they're just going to finish us off, or it's just going to stay 1 0. We've got to get this goal now. We've got to get it now. Because right now, every corner we've had, it's just gone wide. Get it on frigging target. And it's frigging blown. Or, I don't know. I don't know what happened. The referee blew his whistle. I guess it's a foul. Miles to all. Bloody rubbish. Free kick to Vernon. These players, their players have been a bunch of cheating little shit. But, um... Burnley have a free kick. It was that bloody Darko Shalinov. I think that's how you say his name. But, um, yeah, he was down, and as soon as he got up, totally normal. And then he's got to tackle again, and everyone's not happy. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a dangerous position as well. It's very dangerous now. To be fair, I can see that he's like, uh, scoring this. Because, I mean, if they score this, it's going to be game over. Because we've just got about... Yeah, coming up to a minute now until uh, we get added time. It's going to be taken. Oh, went over. Touch that. Touched the wall and uh, yeah, you, just going. Uh, yeah, for a goal kick. I've just left the pissing match. And bloody Asante scores on his debut. I mean, he was middle up in the box and he managed to get a touch on it. And it goes in. Get him, Thomas Asante. Bruce and the bench going wild. Oh, we grabbed it at the death. Vincent Company's expression says it all. You city bastard. But it's still not cleared yet. Burnley still have a chance. But yeah, that looks like that's going to be it. I'm just going to leave it here, guys. I don't think anything else is going to happen now. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. Happy days. <laughs>